Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mezon African Motives, uh, working on the integration. Uh, we have got a question that you're going to focus on. Evaluate the integral of 1 over x into the square root of 1 plus 3x with respect to x. So this is an integration that you're going to apply using the algebraic uh, substitution. So in this platform, I'm going to introduce the substitution of the square root as it is the whole part of the square root, which is uh, uh, a part that... Most of us, we ignore a lot. So I'm going to focus with that one. So in this case, I'm going to let u be equivalent to the square root of 1 plus uh, 3x in this case, meaning to say that uh, this is the same as my u is uh, 1 plus 3x raised to the exponent of a half to remove the square root is same as to the exponent of a half. So our u can be written as... Uh, 1 plus 3x, everything being raised to the exponent of a half. Why raising to the exponent of, of a half? So that we can be able to differentiate u with respect to x so that uh, we can substitute. Remember, what we need here is to substitute to remove the dx. Since this part is now represented with u, so we need to represent with u this part. Also, this part with u or in terms of u. So that is uh, why we need to find the derivative of u with respect to x. So here the derivative of u with respect to x is going to give us uh, from our derivatives, uh, that is from a function of a function. This part is a function that is being raised to the exponent of f. So we are going to apply function of function, but we do it direct, just to find the derivative of the bracket, this one with its exponent. So we're going to drop the exponent of a half Remember our derivative, guys, you drop the exponent to multiply with 1. So that is going to be a half into 1 plus 3x. Everything, we subtract a 1 on our exponent here. So that's half minus 1, which is going to be a negative a half in this case. Then whatever that you obtain, you multiply to the derivative of what is inside the bracket. Remember, you multiply by the derivative of this part. So the derivative of, of 1 is a 0. The derivative of 3x, that will be a positive 3. So we are going to obtain 3 in this case. So you can multiply a half and a 3. So this is going to give us a 3 over 2. Then multiply it to this part being raised to, to the exponent of uh, a negative half. So raised to the exponent of a negative half to remove the negative is simply 1 over 1 plus uh, 3x. Everything being raised to the exponent of a half. But if we take a closer look, this part here that we have being raised to the exponent of a half is the same as this part that we had before, which was taken from the square root of. So meaning to say we can write our answer with the square root. So this is going to be 3 over 2 being multiplied to 1 over the square root of uh, 1 plus 3x. So we are going to obtain the square root of 1 plus 3x, which this whole part here that we see is the same as u, we, because we remember we said this part of square root of 1 plus 3x is same as u before. So meaning to say, if we take this part, all right, if we remove this part, we are simply going to substitute it with a u. That is what you're going to have in this case. So I, I, I want you to be very, very careful on this part. So meaning to say we are going to have our answer as 3 over, this is a u like this. So meaning to say we are multiplying 2 times u, which is going to give us 2u. So this is the derivative of u with respect to x, but we ended up having a, a, a u in, in our simplification. And what we need, remember, we have u in this case, which is the, our original u, which is... Uh, to the exponent of half of uh, 1 plus 3x or the square root of 1 plus 3x. But uh, as I said, you need to substitute dx with du. So what we need here is to make du the subject. So we're going to make du the subject in this case. So make uh, dx, I mean dx the subject. So we're going to make dx the subject so that we can substitute this in terms of u. So we are going to substitute this uh, later on. So you can cross multiply that's 3 by dx, which is going to be 3. dx is equal to 2u times du, which is going to be 2u du like this. So you can divide by 3 both sides so that we can obtain our dx as 2u over 3 uh, of du like this. All right. So we have made dx the subject that's writing it in terms of uh, 
du. So with this, guys, we are going to take it back into our original question with the u that we introduced before. So this is our original question that we had before. So this is going to give us the integral of 1 over, take note, this is x. We still have our x here times the square root of 1 plus 3x, which is the square root of 1 plus 3x is u in this case. So this is going to be multiplied to, to u by dx. Our dx is the one that we, had, we have here, which is in terms of u. So we are going to substitute our dx here in terms of u as it is, which is going to be 2u over 3 by du like this. All right. As long as there is a du, it controls our integral, this part. This is uh, the, the part that controls our integral. What am I trying to say? Whenever you are given this part, it means this part or everything that you are having here is supposed to be in terms of you, every, everything, there's supposed to be you everywhere. But here we are having an x. So which means we are supposed to get rid of that x, okay? But before that, you can simplify uh, this part. You can cancel the u and the u, this part. We can cancel it. And also the 2 over 3, this one, you can also take it outside of the integral because it's, uh, it's just multiplying this one. So you can take it outside of the integral. Uh, so that is going to be 2 over 3 outside of the integral. We remain with 1 over x with respect to u, with respect to u, meaning to say that this must be in terms of u for us to integrate, but it's in terms of x. So we need to go back to our introduction of u, where we introduced the u here. We need to go back to the original question, uh, to the original part here, where we introduced the u and make x the subject. We need to make x the subject there. So we are going back on this part where we referred our u as, so let me just write it aside here. Remember we said our u is equivalent to the square root of 1 plus 3x. So what we want here is to make x the subject of the formula. So how can we make x the subject of the formula? We are going to square both sides to remove the square root. So you square both sides, that's u squared is equal to 1 plus 3x. Make x the subject, transpose this to the left-hand side. So this will be a negative one. So we are going to have uh, this presentation as u squared minus 1 is equal to 3x. Divide by 3 both sides by 3 both sides so that we obtain the value of x. So meaning to say where there is x, we are going to write this as u squared minus 1, everything over a 3 like this. So this is what we are going to take in place of x, we are going to substitute now u squared minus 1 over 3. So this is what you're going to do on this part here. We are going to have our presentation now as uh, 2 over 3. So this is going to be 2 over 3 like this. The integral of 1 over x. So it's 1 over this part. So it's 1 over this part that we obtained of u squared minus 1 over 3 like this. All right. Which is with respect to to you. So as we can see, this part that we are having here is something that we need to work on uh, and integrate because everything here is in terms of you. But just for the simplification part, uh, we can simplify one over a fraction is simply the inverse of that fraction. Remember, one over a over b like this simply means b over a, the inverse of this. We just interchange. So this is going to give us the integral of two over three. Uh, sorry, 2 over 3 into the integral. We are going to have 2 over 3. The integral of uh, 1 divided by this, we just interchange like this part. So this is going to be 3 over uh, u squared minus 1 with respect to, to u. All right, so even this is outside, it's a constant. So we can even apply the same way a constant can affect a constant because these are constants, so they can even affect each other. So we can cancel the 3 and the 3. So remain with a 2 outside of our integral. So this is going to be 2 integral of 1 over this we cancel. So this is now a 1. So it's 1 over u squared minus 1, which is being integrated with respect to u. All right. So guys, at this stage, you are to ought ask yourself now to say, how am I going to integrate? Because here, we are at the last stage where we need to integrate, but it's 1 over u squared minus 1. 
So this one, we use the standard form of our integrals. Remember, from the standard form of our integrals, we know that the integral of the standard form, the integral of 1 over x squared minus a squared like this with respect to x is equal to 1 over 2a, the lean of x minus a over x plus a, plus the constant of integration. So this is uh, what we are referring to, where we are saying this is the same approach or the same part that we have. This is same as the integral of 1 over our x squared, which is u squared in this case. So this is going to be uh, u squared minus a squared. It's a number raised to the exponent of 2. So how can we write 1 as a number to the exponent of 2? 1 is same as 1 squared. We haven't changed anything. It's same as 1 squared. So meaning to say this is our x. This is our a. So from this part, our answer is supposed to be equivalent to 2 times. Uh, we now integrate this part here. So like I say, this is equivalent to 2 times. So we are supposed to have 1 over 2a. Our a in this case is 1 our a, a squared. So meaning to say our a is the number raised to the exponent, which is one. So it's one over two a, which is one over two times one, which is simply one over two. Then lean of, so this is lean of x minus a. This is x from u squared. So our u is representing x. So this is going to be lean of u minus a. Our a, remember we said our a is one. So it's u minus one over u plus one like this. So this is what you're going to have uh, plus the constant of uh, integration. So you're going to have our constant of integration like this. All right. So this is uh, what we're supposed to have. And also you can simplify two times a half. This can cancel, meaning to say we are going to remain with uh, the lean of u. So this is the lean of u minus one, everything or like this. Let's just put everything, everything over u plus one. So this is what you're going to have plus the constant of integration, which you can even expand from our logarithms. We know that if we are dividing uh, from our logarithms, we know that the lean of a over b like this can be given as the lean of a minus the lean of b. So meaning to say, this can be written as the lean of, so this is going to be the lean, this is our A in this case. So it is going to be the lean of U minus one minus, this is our B. So we're going to have the lean of U plus one in this case, plus the constant of integration. But take note, this was an integral with respect to X. Let us get back here. Let us get back to the original question. This was an integral that was in terms with respect to x, meaning to say our answer must have x. But if we check here, our answer is not having x. Our answer is in terms of u. So we need to go back again where we introduced our u here, where we said our u is equal to the square root of 1 plus 3x. So wherever there is a u, we are going to substitute 1 plus 3x under the square root. So that's the square root of 1 plus 3x. All right. So wherever there is u, we are going to substitute the square root of 1 plus 3x. So therefore, our answer is going to be taken as, therefore, we are going to have lean in place of u. That's the square root of. So this is going to be the square root of 1 plus uh, 3x like this, minus 1. So minus 1 is not inside the bracket, is not inside the square root. It's outside of the square root. This one minus the lean of our u being the square root. So that's the square root of 1 plus uh, 3x like this, plus 1, which is outside of the square root. Then don't forget the constant of integration. After you have integrated, always the constant of integration has to be there. All right, so these are the steps which were necessary in this case to, in order for us to integrate whatever that you're given with the respect to x using the substitution method uh, that is uh, of our algebraic, the algebraic part. So all you need, guys, is to make more questions, more revisions. Let me know on the comment section so that we can work with more questions of this typical nature if there is a need for us to add more questions uh, so that we can work them in our next class. But for now, that's it, guys, from Maison African Motives, till we meet again.